Chapter 16 When my soul slumbered, being afar from the Lord, I had all but slipped down to the pit. When I was far from God, my soul had been well nigh poured out unto death. I had been nigh unto the gates of Sheol with the sinner, when my soul departed from the Lord God of Israel. Had not the Lord helped me with his everlasting mercy, he pricked me as a horse is pricked, that I might serve him. My Saviour and Helper at all times saved me. I will give thanks unto thee, O God, for thou hast helped me to my salvation, and hast not counted me with sinners to my destruction. Remove not thy mercy from me, O God, nor thy memorial from my heart until I die. Rule me, O God, keeping me back from wicked sin, and from every wicked woman that causeth the simple to stumble. And let not the beauty of a lawless woman beguile me, nor any one that is subject to unprofitable sin. Establish the works of my hands before thee, and preserve my goings in the remembrance of thee. Protect my tongue and my lips with words of truth. Anger and unreasoning wrath put far from me. Murmuring and impatience in affliction remove far from me. When, if I sin, thou chastenest me that I may return unto thee. But with good will and cheerfulness support my soul. When thou strengthenest my soul, what is given to me will be sufficient for me. For if thou givest not strength, who can endure chastisement with poverty? When a man is rebuked by means of his corruption, thy testing of him is in his flesh and in the affliction of poverty. If the righteous endureth in all these trials, he shall receive mercy from the Lord.